Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for technical and vocational schools. It is unit eight, lesson five, adverbs, adverb clauses of time. Now, in order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, project success to student's book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. All right, lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use adverb clauses in writing sentences. So, what is an adverb clause? Take a look at this. Samir spoke to Marwa after 9 p.m. Koma, Maher installed the software. I need to use an adverb clause. When the computers arrived, Maher installed the software. Lena told Maher what she thought. I have to use an adverb clause. Before he left. So, adverb clauses are used to show when an action happens. Adverb clauses after 9 p.m. when the computers arrive before he left. So, when an action happens, what is an action? Something like spoke. You see? Samir spoke to Marwa after 9 p.m. Okay? Mahar installed the software when the computers arrived. Lena told Mahar what she, what she thought before he left. Now, it is usually introduced by time adverbs, like before or after. You see? These are after, when, before. These are adverbs of time. So let me explain that more. Adverbs of time. We have before, after, as, when, while, until, as soon as, no sooner than, as long as. Of course, within this lesson, I'm not going to cover all of them. Just these five. Before, after, when, until, as soon as. So what is an, act, an adverb clause? We have a main clause and we have an adverb clause. For example, Mona spoke to Ali after Layla called her mother. I can reverse the order. I can start with the adverb clause and then the main clause. I say, after Layla called her mother, comma, Mona spoke to Ali. You see, what changed? I added a comma and I changed the first letter into an uppercase because it is the start of the sentence. Adverb clauses of time, formation, how to form the sentences. So I start with the main clause plus the adverb clause. Ali wrote the lesson before, which is an adverb of time, Ahmed arrived. The man finished after his boss complained. The nurse registered him when he gave her his ID. The lady can go as soon as she makes the call. Students will be working until the lesson finishes. As you see, we have main clothes and then we have adverb clothes. And the adverb clause always follows the adverb of time, like before, after, when, as soon as, and until. We have an action, like wrote, finished, registered, can go, will be working. We would like to put that according to time with the other actions. Arrived, complain, gave, makes, finishes. It depends on the adverb of time. If you say before, action, you have an action, before, another action, this happens first. If you have finished, after, another action, this happens next. If you say registered, when, action, then means they happened at the same time. Can go and makes happen at the same time with as soon as. Will be working 
it happens now and it will go on into the future and then the other action. So it is a continuation of time. All right, now we have task one to do. Question, insert the adverb in the following sentences. And you have a mark of three. Number one, Fahad woke up, he went to school. You have to write before in the correct place. You have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. Well, you write before, just right here. Fahad woke up before he went to school. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Let's check the other. That person should leave, he finishes his work. You have to use as soon as between the parentheses. You have five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is right here. You say, that person should leave as soon as he finishes his work. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Let's check the third one. The ladies will be waiting the bell rings. And you have to use until between the parentheses. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is right over there. The ladies will be waiting until the bell rings. Now, mark yourself out of three and let's carry on. Adverb clauses of time formation. Now, we're going to begin with the adverb clause and then the main clause. So we have switched them. You start with the adverb of time. You say, before Ahmed arrived, and you have to add a comma, and then you have after his boss complained, you have to add a comma. When he gave his ID, you have to add a comma. As soon as she makes the call, a comma, until the lesson finishes, a comma. Now we go over to the main clause. Please pay attention to the comma plus the actions. So you say, before Ahmed arrived, comma, Ali wrote the lesson, full stop. After his boss complained, comma, the man finished. When he gave his ID, comma, the nurse registered him, full stop. As soon as she makes the call, comma, the lady can go, full stop. Until the lesson finishes, comma, students will be working. Now that, those are the other action verbs. All right. So. Let's go over to task number two. Question, write T if the sentence is correct or F if it's false. And you have a mark of three. Number one, before Khawla called, he came in. Now, is that correct or not? Circle the right answer. You have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is false, why is that? Because you have to add a comma. You have to add a comma. Before Khawla called comma, he came in, he came in. Two, he gave her his book, he took it after. Is that correct or false? Five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is false again. Why is that? Because you have to use after. You have to begin with the adverb of time. What else? You have to add a comma. So two mistakes in this. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Three, as soon as I finished, comma, you can begin. True or false? Okay, let's check, let's check. Ah, this is correct. Now, 
Give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following. A, combine each pair of sentences using the adverb in parentheses. And you have a mark of four. Number one, the computers arrived, full stop. Lena called Maher, after. You have to combine these two sentences using the adverb of time between the parentheses, like in the example. You say, after the computers arrived, comma, Lena called Maher, full stop. Now, there are more sentences that you need to combine. Maher started the project, he received the order as soon as. Yasser will speak to Maher. Yasser will go over, will go home at five o'clock before. Maher gets annoyed. Students ask him questions. When? Lena will come to work at eight o'clock tomorrow. She will see Maher when. You have three minutes to answer the question. All right, now let's go over the model answer. Number two, Maher started the project as soon as he received the order. Number three, before Yasser goes home at five o'clock, comma, he will speak to Maher, full stop. Maher gets annoyed when students ask him questions, full stop. When Lena comes to work at eight o'clock tomorrow, Comma, she will see Mahar, full stop. Compare your answers and carry on. Task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question, write four sentences using adverb clauses. Start, 
two with male clauses, then start another two with, uh, with adverb clauses, like the examples below. And you have a mark of eight. Fatima becomes happy when she plays tennis. Fatima becomes happy when she plays tennis. Now you have three minutes to answer the question. All right, now let's check the model answer. But before we do that, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. One, a capitalized first letter. Two, a full stop. Three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Three, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now let's go over the model answers for question B. Number one, Hussam spoke to me before he went back home, full stop. Two, I will be reading until I hear the alarm goes off, full stop. Three, when the package arrived, comma, Samia opened it, full stop. Four, after Ali called her, comma, she spoke to her sister, full stop. Now compare both answers and correct yourself. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back and two marks for finishing the lesson, then calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use adverb clauses of time in writing sentences. And you have to mark yourself out of 20. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 70%, 
or more, that means 15 marks or more, then you can go over the lesson uh, where you filled in and redo that. If you have 75% uh, or lower than that, that means 15 marks or lower than that, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck. Thank you for your attention.